Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Slipstream, where now we move on to the second series of the day. I am that Swedish, that annoying Swedish dude that Blue Wolf was talking about earlier. And of course, talking about Blue Wolf, I'm still here with him. You're taking that completely out of context. I didn't mean it <laughs> that way of, at all. Of course, only jokes. Love you, really. Looking forward to casting this second series with you. We're going down the ladder a little bit. First game was Division 2. Cactus Squad winning at 3-0 against, oh, I've forgotten the name, RC Rocket Corps Pluto. Uh, now we're going yes. down to Division 4. We'll be seeing FC Netneat taking on Bad Karma. Any thoughts ahead of this game? It's going to be very interesting. Bad Karma currently number one uh, at the table with no uh, losses. So it's going to be very difficult to challenge them. It looks like they're fighting for uh, that promotion up to Division 3 for the next season. So, and FC Net Neat, uh, they're currently in fourth, I believe. I saw them lost in the table. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see them contend against Bad Karma. Uh, so, if we're talking predictions, personally, I think it's going to be go to Bad Karma's hands. Uh, due to their experience. But who knows? What do you think, Blue Wolf? Well, I mean, net neat, they are fourth in the league, but they have only lost one game. And the team they lost to was DC Epsilon. And if net neat win today, DC Epsilon will get to take the top spot in Division 4 and they'll knock Bad Karma down to second place on goal difference. So I think net neat, them being fourth in the league, might lend people to think that maybe this isn't going to be as close as I think it will be. So I think it will be a very close game, hopefully closer than the first series we saw, which I didn't think was going to be close, but ended up being a win for the team I wasn't expecting. I think this one will be a lot more narrow, a big top table clash. It's heavyweights of Division 4 going at it. And I think if you were to hold a gun to my head and say, name a team that you think will win, I'm going to favour the Dutch org. I'm going to say net neat are going to take it, even though they are lower in the league. Interesting to go against my uh, prediction. It's going to be very interesting indeed to see how bad Karma will play against FC and Net Neat. Uh, personally, I think it's going to be interesting. This is Division 4 after all. Uh, a huge skill gap between uh, the two divisions that we've uh, checked. Division 2 being very quick and more punishing. While Division 4 is going to be very interesting, it's uh, around C3, around low 1500 there. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting game. But nonetheless, let's get the teams in as we move over to series number two. FC Netneat will face against Bat Karma. Well, I know I picked Netneat to win. I hope that doesn't give me some bad karma. First bad juke of the stream and we're on game two. That's a great way to start this second series off. Division four, net neat. They are going to be in the blue. And it is going to be bad karma in the orange. First shot is coming in from Jack. It's easily saved though by Brawny. So no goals as of yet. The pinball on the center line could break a shot here for Jack. That's a good flick on. Good turnaround by Turtle with the save. Oh, Irish, that's a bit of a misread. Maybe faking it for his teammate. Perhaps Reese is going to try and Pass it on to Jack, all three players involved in this move. Hopefully there's some end product. It isn't Brony to give it away. Trying to lead an attack of his own. It's just going to be intercepted. It's just total defense at the moment here from Netneat. It's very interesting to see the both teams uh, trying to figure out how to break each other's defense. And while FC Netneat, they're just trying to break out of uh, the defense and the offense of uh, Bad Karma. It's just, you know, uh, ping pong, a game of ping pong, like a lot of people like to call it, just people, the teams figuring out each other. Of course, there were some uh, minor whiffs and then now a double commit uh, by Bad Karma. But so far, a lot of the teams have been, you know, going for the capitalization on, uh, you know, punishing and doing what to do. Yeah, it seems like the forces of the Bad Karma players seem to be grouping up on the halfway line and taking various excursions into the net need half. None of them have been fruitful yet as we are still at a stalemate here. 0-0 the score. That demo could lead for a breakout 
for the bad karma players. It's not going to bring anything in the end. Perhaps. Oh, Reese is going for a dribble. It's going to be a shot easily saved by Bronny though, and the follow up is going to go nowhere. So at the same time, it just seems like that the net neat players are struggling to get out of their own half here. As the net need really struggling indeed, but as we speak now, Jack from Bad Karma keeping the pressure up for the red side. Now Reese going for a shot a bit too high as Boogies now reclaims that possession, sends it into Jack though as he gets a very brilliant clip. A turtle Timmy now getting a brilliant clip with a shot that's on target, and he will be the one who grabs the lead. Well, that was completely against the run of play. It seemed like net neat, their net was just getting besieged, but in the end, they're the ones to find the opener. It's Turtle Timmy with what feels like their first attack, who hits the ball into the roof of the net. Half the game is gone, and net neat, they are edged into the lead here. With Jack, he seems to be the man with the most shots at the moment. He'll be looking to try and find another here. His race shot slash pass ends up being easily saved by Brony. Ball not cleared though, Jack trying to fake doesn't really do much as Boogie's who's in the game. I think I've just said for the first time, he's been very quiet so far. And he's looking to get in the game. It's actually Turtle Timmy. He might just find an open net as Reese comes flying across to deny the goal. Boogie's looking to try and dribble here. Takes it around one. Flicks it on. Oh, Bronny wasn't really prepared for that. And that allows Reese to come and cover. So in the end, the, things, the tide has turned. That goal has rattled the bad karma players. And net leaks, they are in the ascendancy here. Indeed, both teams still trying to figure out how to break each other's defense. And while FC Netney already looking to be the one who is on the up foot, Bad Karma, meanwhile, is on the down foot and has to break out of defense to start striking. But there's just minor mispositions and minor miscommunications by the Bad Karma side, which is preventing. Uh, but Karma to start striking and scoring. Yeah, it just seems like a lack of clear-cut chances. They've had lots of the ball, but not enough shots to show for it, and they might suffer the consequences here. It seems that the net neat players, they've been conservative, they've had very limited chances, but they had a chance and they made it work, and that's the only ball that's been in the net as of yet. This race will be looking to try and make something work. Turtle Timmy with the interception, center ball, and it's fine for Boogies. That's another attack that goes the way of Netneat. They double their advantage here and wow, counter-attacking Rocket League coming out and it's worked perfectly for Netneat thus far with one minute to go. Great pass off the corner by Turtle Timmy, perfectly aligning it in the middle for Turtle Timmy to extend the lead for FC Netneat. But as we speak now, Re Royce going for a pass. Jack, he will be there with a shot a bit too wide, another shot. Too wide as well as Bruni is there with a clear. But again, FC Net need have been looking very dominant in this first uh, game as uh, they were the one who cracked the code on the Bad Karma defense. But so far, it looks like both sides are very struggling a bit in both defense and offense. Yeah, Turtle Timmy's got the man who's got. Uh, sorry, Turtle Timmy's got the man. Turtle Timmy has got the key to the Bad Karma defense and he's unlocked it twice, finding the goal the first one and then assisting the second one excellently as Jack tries to flick on to race. That's well away and this looks like a done deal here. Five seconds on the clock. It's very unlikely that we see two goals in one second, I'd say. Dare I say it's impossible as that is going to be game one going the way of FC Netneat. FC Netney taking the first game in this series brilliantly, uh, just cracking the code on the Bad Karma defense. Of course, at the first minute, it looked like Bad Karma might be the one who strikes first with the amount of pressure that they kept on that blue half. But sadly, FC Netney won't give up and just kept on sending each shot away, then finding the back of the net twice on that. Uh, offense by them but nonetheless let's move over to game number two of this series as we were about to <laughs> but <laughs> guess what happened the server went down for maintenance which is very very unfortunate 
two games, two tech issues, neither of them the fault of the league or us. I haven't done anything. I haven't accidentally pulled the cable out of the Psyonix servers, as we will be waiting to see Bad Karma's response to losing that first game, a game where they were dominant for so long until Turtle Timmy took the ball down their half and put them behind 1-0 from him. A second goal was assisted by him. He found the ball in the corner, took a brilliant centre for Boogies to tap into the net as should be getting back in shortly to what will be our second game in the Forbidden Temple. Do you think Bad Karma, they'll be able to find a response here? Oh, dear. Possibly, possibly. I mean, they had the groove going in the first uh, minute in that game. And uh, if they just kept on, you know, keeping the pressure up and nailing those shots, getting a really good touches on the ball where it finds the back of the net, I do believe they will find their groove here in game number two and not go home with a sweep. But nonetheless, FC Netney looking very promising already. Uh, the team that is currently in fourth uh, facing up against the top Can I give you a little bit of a statistic here? Uh, Go for it. Bad Karma have the best defense in Division 4. And at the moment, it seems that Net Neat are the only teams that have been able to crack it. They've conceded four goals all tournament long. They've already conceded two. And it's only into game two as we are now live with this one. Net Neat lead the series 1-0. Although Bad Karma, they'll be looking to rectify the situation and keep themselves sitting pretty atop the Division 4 table. It's going to be an interesting one. Game 2, who will be the one who cracks the code? Will it still be FC Net Need who extends? Uh, but as I speak, a double commit occurs in the FC Net Need defense. But nonetheless, that Karma currently... But as oh. I was going to speak about that Karma, Jack tells me to shut up and takes the lead for that Karma. He's given you some bad karma there. A perfect shot right in the sweet spot of the crossbar. There's going to be no keeping that out. Although Brony, that was going to be impossible for him to keep out as his teammate had shunted him up into the back of his own net. So that's the start you want if you're bad karma. Talked about their defensive record. Also the second best attacking team in the division as well. Showing us maybe that they can do both. Still waiting on the defensive side, but the offense seems to be getting going here as Brony has demoed someone and has kept control of the ball. That's what you hope to see is they'll be looking to have their first attack of this second game. It's Brony with the shot, saved by Irish, cleared away. Only as far as the halfway line. If he turned back here, it, it isn't quite Boogie's hit that the wrong way. Irish looking to do an aerial, I think accidentally flips instead of continues going forwards as Boogie's does get a shot, fairly tame one in the end. It's bad karma. They seem comfortable enough in their lead. There's been some attempts at an attack, but nothing truly damning from FC Net Neat, and they've doubled their advantage. Jack's told Jack, you said Jack told you to shut up. He's told me to shut up now. He's found his second goal. Doubles the advantage for Bad Karma. Brilliantly passed by uh, Reese, but it was also very risky for Jack to push up there as all three of them were now in the blue half. One mistake, one good block by FC Net Neat would have meant. Uh, equalizing goal for them but that didn't happen Jack just extended the lead for back karma instead two goals up with more than three minutes left what will uh, FC net be do well, it looks like they might respond by scoring and by conceding another one sorry for talking about net neat that's eventually been cleared away though Reese is the only man left defending Irish looks like looked like a defender from his position there. Had to try and get out of the way of his teammate's shot, which was saved by Brony. Irish looking to follow it in. Blocks Turtle Timmy's clearance, so that should be easily collected by his teammates here. They look to mount another attack to try and make an unassailable lead. Brony's going to intercept though. That could be awkward in the air. The bump onto Irish made things awkward, but there was no attacking players there. Netney quite defensive positions, even though they're the ones hunting a goal. That's a good flick on. Oh, he's missed! Oh no! He's missed! That's oh, that could have been the game there and then, and, and it's that's gonna be in. a goal from Pearl Timmy. What a turnaround! No way! He gets the demo on the net, but just Reese can't see the ball through the smoke, and Turtle Timmy will turn it around and send one straight into the orange net. One goal deficit now 
forward and see that knee. Well, that could be the moment where they end up kicking themselves at the end of the second game. Although Jax, he's going to try and say no to that as they've just gone down the net. Reese is atoned for his error. He taps in the easy ball. Look, he's tried to pass it. I don't know who he passed it to. He passed it directly to Jack in the end. I don't think he meant to do that. But in the end, it's an easy goal for Reese and things might be a little bit calmer now on the, the bad karma side. Two goals again is what separates these two teams in this game. Once again, FC Netney looking very promising in the game one, but now bad karma trying their best to prove and show a bit of karma towards the blue half. But nonetheless, that's a pinch by the bad karma side. And it works in their favor. Jack trying to get a block, but either way, bad karma finally showing their true colors, being very aggressive while being really good at defense as well. Yeah, and it's the defense being tested here. The double commit works. Reese is able to get the ball away. Ronnie could find a shot here. It's going to be too far to the right. Desirish will be the man to clear this time. Another center ball. Oh, that's a miss. But there's no one in the box to try and capitalize from net deep. They're going to be needing two goals here. They have a minute and a half to work with. They need to start firing more shots in. They seem to have had a fair bit of the ball. Not a whole lot of shots, though. Maybe that's just the defensive prowess of bad karma. As they're going to venture into the other half here and take a shot of their own, which is going to be ricocheted away easily. So far, so good for bad karma. But as I speak, a mistake comes through. That's a pass to the middle, but no one from the blue side was there to capitalize on it. But either way, so far so good for Bad Karma. One minute left. If they hold this lead for one more minute, it looks like they will take game two and find their groove once again. Yeah, find their groove, definitely. They could have extended their groove, maybe thrown, thrown in a new dance move there if Reese had found the net. As it stands, Irish, he's not really had a massive impact on the game. He's looking to try and change that. Unable to do so, though, is Jack. Dribble pass one, goes over the second one, third player should be able to clear, it's a block and Jack could find a shot into an empty net and does great work by Jack, he beats all three players and rolls the ball into the net for bad karma to take a 4-1 lead and I think the second here. Free goal deficit, that looks like the nail on the coffin, bad karma. Looks like they will be taking game number two and I won't give up without a fight. This is going to be an interesting game as the series score will be equalized after this. Yeah, I wonder how much of it was sort of either shell shock or ring rust. They weren't really prepared for the game bad karma, you know, warmed up. They weren't properly warmed up, but they're, they're definitely warm now. Some great stuff from them. Could easily have been five. We saw that open net miss from Reese. Ronnie will try and find a consolation, maybe damage those defensive statistics a little bit. It won't really matter in the end as the ball will bounce right in front of the bad karma net and the dominant performance in them sees them level things up in the series 1-1 brilliantly played by bad karma to find their groove once again finding each other is playing overall better than what they did in game one game one they were very slow very hesitant on what to do though their attacking in uh, the first minute or so was very good fc netney uh, just countered back and were the ones who found the back of the net. But now Bat Karma seems to be in groove, like I said. Very warm. It looks like they're ready to take on FC Netneat to Game 4 and end it at Game 4. Just, it's going to be a, an interesting sight. Yeah, well, Jack, he is a player for Bad Karma who seemed to come alive there. He scored a hat-trick in that game, especially including that third goal where he dribbled past all three players on the FC net neat side. We've seen both teams have games where they've been very good. It'll be a question of which one of them does it in the third game. The series is all tied up. The stage is set for someone to become a hero. Who will it be? Come find out with us as we go into game number three. Game number three, bad karma against FC Net Neat again. This is going to be very interesting and beautiful DFH Stadium this time as a champion will be uh, secured soon later on. But this is the deciding factor who will be uh, the team that goes into match point 
which means that they're one game away from walking home with a victory. But so far, it's 1-1, tied in the series. Net neat, they'll be thinking, oh, maybe uh, you have enough victories, bad karma. You already have six of them in the league. Maybe share them out. Maybe give us one the bad karma. They'll be looking to hoard. They'll want to keep their lead at the top of the table, which they will lose if they lose this game. DC Epsilon, they'll be watching with bated breath, knowing that they will take the lead if bad karma slip up here. Doesn't look like they're going to slip up. They haven't conceded yet, despite a number of shots coming in from the Net Neat boys. Nothing particularly convincing. This could change though as Boogies looked like he was going to lead a dangerous attack. That's a shot that's going to have to be saved by Jack. Jack, he was the star attacker of last game. He's going to lead his own offense here. He tries to pass to race. Isn't going to work out. Maybe that's just showing Division 4 a little bit of lack of polish on a couple of players. Indeed, so far none of them are able to crack the code on the defense. So far, both teams look very promising. Their defense, their offense, it's really good. Both teams playing really quick as well. Quick on rotating out, rotating in, cutting in for, you know, to just to keep the pressure up. But so far, I mistake there by Bruni nearly cost him the lead, cost them the lead of the game. But as I speak now, Irish with a pass into Boogies, and Boogies will be the one who punishes. Well, I think, you know, saying Irish with a pass to Boogies sounds like a great thing until you consider that Irish and Boogies, they're not on the same team. Irish with a bit of a mistake there, lets Boogies find the net, and that's going to be a lead for net deep. They'll be hoping for a repeat of game one. Bad Karma, they'll be looking to quickly answer back, though. Turtle Timmy should be able to clear that. I was worried for a second there, he might hit it into... Oh no, the bump! The team bump! Turtle Timmy scored! Oh no, that's a disaster! In the corner, Jack gets bumped by Reese. The double commit. And if, if there was either of them were there alone, that would have been okay. But the fact they were both there, they collide, and it's a goal being found for Turtle Timmy, the hero of Netmeat, finds another one. Reese apparently uh, lagging out of his mind. But nonetheless, it is very unfortunate. But as I speak, Boogie straight off the kickoff extends the lead of three goals. Is what that is what separates them two. Would you like to know a, a nice statistic that really puts into context what we are seeing? Bad Karma have conceded four goals in their first five games. They've conceded five in this one, and it's not even over. They've more than doubled the amount they've conceded all season. This really shows how su surprisingly close this has been. Net me giving them a run for their money in the race to be top of Division 4. Boogies with the save, no follow-up from Jack. This race is making an aerial here. It's a pretty good aerial for someone who's lagging. Give him some credit as Boogies gets the aerial interception. That Oh, he flicked it on. Brony could have been in there. Turtle Timmy's going to try and recycle as opposed to shoot. But no recycling is going to be allowed to be done. As it seems that net needs. They're cruising here. It seems that Bad Karma is just trying their best right now to put that ball into the other half, but unfortunately can't do so with the, you know, the unfortunate touches that they're getting right now, just putting it back into their own half. Ooh, Bruni nearly helping Bad Karma out there by putting one in, but the defense is there. No goals has been conceded by the FC net need side, but nonetheless, Bad Karma are looking aggressive once again, but not as aggressive as Net Neat. Yeah, Bad Karma, they're starting to attack a little bit now, which is encouraging to say the least. It's going to be Irish with a shot. That's going to be too slow and too directly at the keeper to really challenge anyone as Ronnie up for the aerial is intercepted by Reese. Turtle, Timmy, and Boogie managed to avoid doing what Reese and Jack did that led the second goal to go in. No, oh, Jack. The hero of last game, he's open to the count here. Maybe, just maybe. This could be a Jack. way back here for Bad Karma. Brilliantly shot by Jack. They're keeping the hopes and dreams alive for Bad Karma. One minute and 23 seconds left on the clock. Enough to score two. It is just the amount of time that matter to just wake up. 
Oh, Irish has put a ball that's dangerous into his own box. Has been able to get the second hit and clear it away. Turtle Timmy looking to keep the ball. Every second that the ball is in the bad karma half is one second net beat. They don't have to defend. They might have to do a bit here as Boogies has done enough. A follow up from... I think that was Reese. It might have been a little bit dangerous, but in the end it's been saved. And Reese is going to shoot from his own half. That's uh, maybe a little bit of waste of boost from Boogies there. That ball was clearly going well, well over. Oh, that might have fallen nicely for Jax. The aerial goes into the center. It's Turtle Timmy to get some touch on it and Boogies to clear. So 35 seconds on the clock. There's going to have to be something right now if you want Bad Karma to get back into this. It's very interesting. Jack has been uh, the one who was keeping uh, the hopes and dreams alive for Bad Karma. Keeping the ball in the blue half. Keeping as much pressure as he humanly can. Just trying to center passing to oh. teammates again like i said passing out to reese but unfortunately couldn't dodge away in time game three looks like it will go to fc net need it is going to be an interesting one as now it stands match point for fc net need yeah, I mean, Jack has been really good. You've got to worry about his teammates a little bit. Irish has not been in the game that much at all. I felt like I've rarely said his name. He's not really troubled the score sheet. I think he's yet to score in the series. And Reese, as we've said, he's been lagging a bit apparently. And that's going to be a very worrying sign if you're a bad Karma fan. Their lead at the top of the Division 4 table. It's looking very vulnerable here. DC Absalom, they'll be licking their lips. FC Net Need as well. They might smell blood. They might feel like the current leaders who are yet to lose a game are vulnerable and this could be their big chance to make a break for the lead. Now we enter game number four, match point for FC Netneat. What will happen with that karma? Force FC Netneat into a game at five or will Netneat just end it quick and defeat the Titans of Division 4? Well, it feels like if Bad Karma are to win this one, we'll need a monster performance from Jack as well as Reese to maybe fix his lags and actually show us what he's capable of. He was very good in the game that they won. Oh, chance there. Boogie's eventually going to be able to clear it away. Speaking about the other side, I feel like if Net Neat are going to win, we should, might see another attacking masterclass from Turtle Timmy. Definitely the best player on their side at the moment. Oh no, the, the, the bump from Jack's almost good almost let his team in but no net being found does it yet so it's been a tepid start neither team has conceded yet and what will definitely be a nervy fourth game do you think net nate will be able to follow up their third match win i believe so as we speak brawny will be the one who takes the lead for fc net need unfortunate pass by irish gets bumped in the process into jack as brawny just doinks jack straight over and by him and just takes the lead for FC Netneat. So we are back into it. FC Netneat, they've never taken the lead and then been caught. Every time they've led, they've held on to it for the remainder of the game. That could change though. It will have to change if you're bad karma, if you want to stand a chance in this series. Jack trying to make something work offensively. Turtle Timmy to clear only as far as Reese. So oh, that was close, just over the bar. The follow-up from Boogie is at just a smidgen wide. It feels like this game could have had so many goals. Things just going narrowly wide at the moment and over, I suppose. As both teams look for a goal that just could be incredibly crucial in this series. Indeed, both teams just trying to crack the code. As I say, Reese with an unfortunate miss. Irish passing back to Reese. Reese with a shot a bit too wide, but nonetheless, it is still the lead held by FC Netneat and so far FC Netneat isn't interested in uh, leaving that lead instead they're very very in, in, uh, you know they're trying to extend them yeah uh, offense is the best form of defense because every second you're attacking the bad karma net is a second that you're not having to defend your own is Boogies has left this forward, there's no one in the net. Turtle Timmy, this could be his moment. The pass is good. The save is also good by Race. The double commit could lead Brawny in here. The double pass, the pinch pass goes to Boogies just over the bar. Reese with the save. I don't think it was going in anyway. As it seems like Net Neat, they're on course to get a third goal, to get a second goal here, sorry. 
FC Net need looking like the stronger team currently keeping that pressure up in the orange field just you know not giving bad karma any air and space to breathe like they're just constant piling up the pressure just you know trying at least not to let them touch the ball but as I speak now already bad karma is returning that pressure yeah, Jack with a chance to shoot, it's just over, there will not be a follow-up shot, Irish has missed, and that could lead an attack here, Boogies with a pass, Bronny unable to connect, we've seen a few missed passes this time from this, these games from both teams, as it feels like it might just be the one goal lead here, neither team seems to be able to make good on their shots, they both have had shots, it's not the case that one team has been completely dominant, though I would say Netmeat have been the better side, oh here comes Jack, he's up for the aerial, he makes it for Brony with the save, it seemed that they were all queuing up to try and save that one. A triple commit in your own net could be disastrous, but it's actually led to them getting their own shot here. Bookies rifles it straight at the net and into the palms of races. There's about a minute on the clock here, it's do or die for bad karma. One minute and eight seconds left on the clock, enough to score two, but of course with the amount of pressure that FC Net Need is uh, giving it's going to be very hard to break out and you know start scoring as their defense both defense and offense is really good by blue side but nonetheless they have to make up something quick if they want to stay alive that's a shot oh. too high Reese no a bit too wide as FC Net Need still having the lead could easily have been the moment from Jax, we've sung his praises, he's been the best player for the side of Bad Karma, but he's unable to do just enough there, can he this time, Turtle Timmy should be able to take the ball around him, tries to continue the dribble, he goes past, but Irish is going to say no to that and kill him on the way through, his boogies, has he doubled the advantage, he has, and I think that might be game, 14 seconds on the clock, it seems that FC Net Neat, they've come here and they've shocked Bad Karma. Oh dear, oh dear, another one, another upset by an underdog. This is going to be huge for the number two uh, team in Division 4 as Bat Karma will be moved down to second now and that other team will be moved up. Sorry, who was team? DC Absalom, the only team that has beaten FC Netneat. And they're going to be giving FC Net need a big kiss and thanking them for knocking Bad Karma off their perch on the top spot. They dropped to second place after a four game series. 3 1 the score for FC Net need. And that was a fairly entertaining game. That was a very entertaining game. Two uh, series already now and two upsets. A first one, an upset by a team that was a reserve team replacing. Uh, a team that got disqualified for forfeiting three times uh, already proving themselves very worthy in Division 2 now very interested to see how they will perform later on and now we have Bad Karma against FC Netneat Bad Karma haven't dropped a game yet until now against FC Netneat Bad Karma sadly will be moving down to the second seeder instead of being the uh, first seeder as uh, DC uh, Epsilon uh, will be moving up to the top. Yep, net neat as well. This isn't a redundant game for them. They've moved up to third place and another win will take them level with Bad Karma. They have played one less game, so it is very likely that they could be leapfrogging Bad Karma in the future. So I think this is going to be a game that's very important for the other eight teams in Division 4. They will notice now that Bad Karma, they are human you can beat them I said before the game they've only conceded four goals going into this they conceded I think seven in that one game so that's going to wreak havoc on their goal difference I think they've dropped way down now I think their, their goal difference is now the fifth best in the league when it was joint first so I think bad karma they've got to be even though they, they still have a great record it's got to be a little bit worrying for them Though it is the end for me and Blue Wolf after this series, but don't go anywhere as we will be having our third series coming up soon. Champions Division. I don't have a clue of what game it is, 
So I will <laughs> let uh, the other casters who will be joining us real soon uh, straight after this short little break. But that has been it for me, Victor VTM, and thank you, Blue Wolf, for casting with me uh, throughout these two series. But either way, uh, it's been a great pleasure. It's been a great pleasure casting with you. Some great games, very entertaining. I enjoyed them a lot. And I look forward to doing more both with you and in Slipstream in the future. I'd lastly like to thank everyone for watching. That was a fun two games. I hope you'd enjoyed it just as much as we did. And I hope you guys stick around for the third one because it could, it could be possibly, it's unlikely, but it could be even better.